I live here. Man DVD Cartoon Classics Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Wait a minute, Doc. Relax. Now, now hold it a minute. What y'all got there, man? It couldn't be a pair of them. Some bobbins, Doc. You're afraid Let them go. Dice, don't fail me now. Mm -hmm. Well, ah, uh, sorry, Doc. That's gonna catch me every <laughs> Well, call me Adam. Ten years for this day, so happy birthday to you, the buzzard. Well, no, that's mighty neighborly, the buzzard. What well, now, a book. Just what I've always never wanted. Lions rarely live beyond the age of ten years. Ten years? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kushla McCree! One, two, three, four, uh, five, yep, six, yep, it's a uh, ten, all right, Leo. Absolutely right. You're not getting any younger, Leo. Nope, uh, no younger. Not getting any younger, he says. Well, I'm not getting any older, neither. on for size. Don't the everlasting nerve you can't even wait till I'm decently deceased before you try to devour me. Oh, I know you went and hurt my feelings. I'll hurt more than your feelings, you carnivorous canary. Temper, temper, Mr. Lion. <laughs> You shouldn't exert yourself like that, Mr. Lyle. Come down here, you molten seagull! <laughs> no, 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 I couldn't do that. Oh, no, no. Prepare to defend yourself, then. I'm coming up after you. Be more careful. 
careful, Mr. Lyon. you down. Yes, sir. Have you down in a jiffy. Now, 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 now wait a minute. Don't bother yourself at all. I'll, I'll be getting myself down. No friend of mine's going to get himself down. No, no friend of mine. Yep, pretty hungry. Well, Mr. Buzzard, I've got news for you. You're never going to get me. Never, never, never! <laughs> I fooled him. I fooled him. He'll never get me up here. <laughs> oh, well, uh, uh, Leo, what kept you? Nothing but marshmallows. Uber, uh, have one. I can't 
get along a little doggy. I said I can't even get one that small. Woo! Oh, I can't duck, get along. Can't get along, little doggy. No doggy at all. I can't, can't do it. Can't even get one. Not at all. That's what I said. Woo hoo! Woo hoo!
the, the, the dumb duck. He's been w wasting his time around that decoy. Everybody knows that they can never p p p p possibly mean anything to each other. Hmm. Ah. Uh -huh. 
washed up.
Dumpling! Baby Dumpling! Baby Dumpling! Simmer up, lady. country's most interesting zoo. Here we find the wolf in his natural setting. Next, a pack of camels. A North American greyhound. Here, two bucks and five cents. And here, two friendly elves. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. No zoo would be complete without a monkey cave. <laughs> nature's own weatherman, the little groundhog, and his shadow. Over here, we find... <laughs> hey, sir. hey, hey, don't annoy that sign. It's dangerous. Can't you read that sign? You'd better take my advice and leave him alone. Shame, shame, you're a bad boy. The skunk cage is always a center of interest. Well, we're lucky. It's feeding time for the giraffe. This is the second time I've had to speak to you. Leave that line alone. I'm warning you. 
I'm a bad boy. And here we come to a family of white rabbits. Of course, you all know how fast they multiply. <laughs> Now, over here in the birdhouse, we find the wise old owl. Who? You. Me? Yes. Ooh. An interesting bird is the South African talking parrot. Polly want a cracker? <clears throat> I said, uh, Polly want a cracker? Nah, give me a short beer. Another interesting bird is the Alcatraz jailbird. I didn't do it, I tell you. Okay, I was framed, see? Yeah, I'm innocent. I want to see the DA. They can't do this to me, see? They can't hang this on me. I didn't do it, I tell you. I didn't do it, I tell you. Oh, he did so do it. I saw him with my very own eyes. So there. Over here, we find Mother Ostrich on her nest. have something to grow about. Oh, 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 look out, look out. Well, a jackpot. <laughs> for the last time, you'd better stop annoying that line if you know what's good for you. I'm a bad boy. New to the zoo is an elephant, just in from Africa. Hello, Express Company. This is Joe Jumbo. We'll send it up right away. You know, those guys have had my twunk for a week. And here we have, uh, well, <laughs> these are some things we had left over from that last New Year's party. Pacing back and forth in their cage, we find two restless panthers. Bread and butter, 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 bread and butter. Well, here we have Jay Wellington Buttonhook. Mr. Buttonhook used to thrill thousands at the circus by putting his head in a lion's mouth. In this cage, we find the Rocky Mountain Wildcat. Hey, bud, hey, hey, just a minute, bud. Tell me, just what made you wild? What made me wild? What made me wild? Well, I'll tell you. They called my name out at bank night, and I wasn't there! Well, I guess that little fellow finally took my advice and went home.
golly. Thanks. You saved our life. Is there anything I can do to re re repay you? Anything? is the pride of the farm and the winner of many blue ribbons. He is trained to perform in every game. First, let's see you do a trot. Now the gallop. That's fine. Now do a canter. Oh, I'm happy about the whole thing. The way that you walk, the way that you talk. Hey, hey. That's enough of that. Here we find the farmer's faithful old watchdog. Though he is no longer very active, he still does a few little odd jobs around the house. One of his chores is to fetch the newspaper. Oh, there's the paper now. <laughs> I can hardly wait to see what happened to Dick Tracy. Here is a group of cute little piggies playing in the mud. Well, what are they up to? They seem fascinated by that clock. Oh, well. Here's a proud mother hen, carefully watching over her eggs, anxiously awaiting the eventful day. What a happy little family this will be. What's this? A weasel, the ruthless thief of the barnyard, watching his chance to sneak in and steal those defenseless little eggs. He draws closer and closer and closer. we find many species of bird life. The birds always... Oh, look up there. No, no, over to the left. See? A little owl nestling inside the tree trunk. an interesting sight. A young couple laboriously building their nest with a bit of string from here and a piece of straw from there. A little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, string, straw, string, string, straw, twig, string, straw, twig, string, straw, twig. of the woods, field mice make their home. Here we see one of the most common types. Say, he seems to be a bit worried. Tell me, little fellow, what seems to be troubling you? I don't know, Doc. I... I just keep 
hearing things. Even the tiniest of insects, such as the ants, have a language all their own. Emerging from the opening comes a female of the species. If you listen very closely, you can hear her calling to her young. Henry! Coming, mother. The modern farm is conducted on a business like... Well, here are those little piggies again. Say, piggies, why don't you go off and play? Well, suit yourself. Here is one of the strangest friendships that has ever been known. Natural enemies, yet living together as friends. A cat and a mouse. Tell me, is it true that the cat takes good care of you? And keeps you nice and warm? Well, that's truly a friendship. Now, before we leave you, is there anything that you would like to say to your friends in the audience? Get me out of here! <laughs> and so, as the day draws to a close, and the sun sinks slowly in the west, we reluctantly take our leave of the farm. Well, the piggies again. Are they going to stay there all night? What in the world can the attraction be? Dinner time!
I wish I'd stay on the farm. <laughs> farm? Is Mama's little man afraid? You're in the army now. You're not behind the plow. You'll never get rich. Wait, 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 wait. You're in the army now. <laughs> Get 
I guess I've lost you, Daisy. And I'll never see you again. <laughs> Daisy! Oh, my Daisy. What have they done to you? What have they done to you? They've changed you. Lincoln, Abner, Alice Lewis, Casper, Jefferson, Philbert, Horatius, Narcissus, Pig. Get 
to work. <laughs> Does he do tricks? Sure. Shut up, Bono. Get the balloon! Yes, <laughs> <laughs> <Take> your title! <laughs> Who's who's at a zoo 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 who who zoo? 
uh, who's who at Azusa's zoo. A very interesting and instructive day may be spent at any one of the many fine zoos of our country. Here are assembled strange specimens from the jungles of deepest Africa. Rare creatures native to the highest Himalayas. Fleet-footed beasts of the plains and pampas, as well as denizens of the mighty deep. At great expense and often at the peril of life and limb, they have been brought here so that you and I might know and understand our furred and feathered friends. The wolf family is represented by the timber wolf, his cousin the gray wolf, and the black sheep of the wolf family, the Hollywood wolf. You want to be in pictures, uh, you, you... Say, here's an old friend of ours, Porky Pig, the keeper of the zoo. Hey, Porky, where are you going with that mallet? Oh, I'm uh, g g g going to feed the g g g g giraffe. Look at this cute little bunny. This type of rabbit is known as the cottontail. And where there are rabbits, there are hares. Here we see the famous March hares. This majestic specimen of bird life is a bald eagle. <clears throat> I reiterate, a bald eagle. A bald eagle. Okay, blabbermouth. So I am bald. Before us now is the mighty monarch of the jungle, the lion. Well, his majesty acts a little restless. He seems to be looking for something. Oh, well. One of the most vicious animals is the black panther. This one is just finishing a hearty meal. <laughs> ah, the elephant. The African elephant. And from far off India, the Indian elephant. Oh! The most hated of all birds is the vulture. A sneaky bird of prey. An unspeakable ghoul. A loathsome scavenger. A snake in the grass with wings. A despicable excuse for a bird. Ah. Sticks and stones can break my bones, but words can never hurt me. Nyeh. The seals are getting terribly fussy lately. In fact, they're so fussy that they'll eat only fresh mountain trout. Yeah, they, they don't know from nothing. <laughs> I'll toss them a bit of barracuda mackerel. They'll never know the difference. Well, our friend the lion again. He still seems to be looking for something. Oh, well, we hope he sees it. The Alaskan bear is one of the strongest of all animals. He uses his tremendous strength to hug his prey to death. Once he gets those strong, Hey, hey, what's he up to? No, no, not that poor little sheep. Hey, stop it. Hey, cut that out. Put that sheep down. Hey, stop it, stop it. Stop that hugging. Oh, for goodness sake, mind your own business. When the swallows come back to get the straddle. Residing temporarily at the zoo are three of the famous Capistrano swallows. Tell me, little visitors, why do you always go back to Capistrano? I don't know. I guess we're just in a rut. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's impossible. My gosh, there's a limit. Well, this daddy rabbit seems very disturbed about something. Hey, what seems to be the matter?
hippopotamus. This big brute is armored like a tank. His skin is so tough that even a bullet can hardly pierce it. That's right. In fact, over all his body, there's only one teeny weeny vulnerable spot. <laughs> Oh, that's the spot. Oh, you got it. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> well, well, here's that lion again. Still looking. Oh, wait. He sees something. What is it that makes him so happy? Uh-oh, the ice cream man. That old lion has a sweet tooth. is amateur night. Next we have... Yeah, she'll be coming round the back head when she comes aloud. Yeah, she'll be coming round the back head when she... <laughs> Next we have... Yeah, she'll be coming round the back head when she comes <laughs> Next we have a talented artist, Maestro Pat Whiskey. A 
Usher. Give this gentleman his money back. Now we have the world's smallest entertainer. Teeny, tiny, teensy, tinny, tinny, tin. Let me thrill again to the soft, sweet tones of your voice. <laughs> and now, folks... She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain. And now, folks, let's see who wins the cup.
bringing you lowlights in the world of sport. Archery is one of the most ancient of sports. Here is a modern Robin Hood in action. A bullseye, another bullseye, and another, and another. Indeed, a true champion. A favorite indoor sport which requires a steady hand and perfect timing is billiards. Let's watch this difficult shot. Another popular indoor sport. Each winter, ski jumpers from all over the world go to Lake Placid to test their skill. This is considered to be the highest longest and most treacherous ski jump ever constructed. Only those with iron nerve and daredevil courage ever attempt this hazardous feat. And now, about to undertake this perilous jump is Pavo Nervi. Good luck, old man. Happy landing. The high hurdle race is one of the most exciting events of a track and field meet. We're just in time to see the start of the 120 high hurdle race. And they're off. Aquabells get in the swim for the women's national championships. And here's the finish of the 50 yard freestyle race. This attractive miss is the new women's champion. Basil Barracuda, former Olympic star, demonstrates a few swimming strokes. He shows you the breast stroke. And the back stroke. And now the crawl. For grace and beauty, nothing excels perfect dives. This is the jackknife dive. The beautiful swan dive. And here is another very popular dive. Racing is a sport that requires flawless timing and teamwork. Notice their perfect precision. The six-day bicycle race is an annual event at Madison Round Garden. Monotonous, isn't it? Baseball, a national pastime. Let's take a glance at that popular catcher, Gabby Hernet, in action. Come on, old boy, old boy, put it right in there, old kid. Oh, give me old jocker right down the middle, old boy, old boy, right in your old groove, old kid. Come on, old boy, old boy, you can't see what old kid. Put it right in there, old boy. Little pepper out there. Tuck it up there now. Come on, let's go, let's go. Not too good. Now. The pitching in there, old kid. Come on, old kid, old kid. Get him in there, out of your boy. Let's have him in there, big boy. That's how old kid right down your alley, old boy. Get him in the old boy. Come on, put him on top of it. Come on, kid. Come on, put him in there. Come on, let's throw him in That's the old pepper in it, kid. Football attracts such capacity crowds that seating has become a problem. Now, here is the latest ideal stadium, the dream of every football fan, where every seat is on the 50 yard line. We go down to the field and show you a few exciting moments from this thrilling game. Signals. 18, 36, 52, 27. Hike. 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 Hike.
Watch him call it through the center of the line, and there's a pilot. Is it a touchdown? Did he make it? Is it a touchdown? Is it? Mm, it could be. For the benefit of those in the audience who couldn't follow the play, we'll explain it by means of this animated diagram. From a box formation, the backfield shifts into a modified T formation. The left half runs out into the flat zone, the tailback drops back into the left wing position, the quarterback drops back into the tailback position, ball is snapped back to the fullback as the running guard pulls out of the line. The right end takes out the left tackle, left half laterals to the right left wing, left wing laterals to the left halfback, the right half tosses shovel pass against a 2-2 on defense, tackle takes out the flanker man, center blocks out the right guard, the center passes the ball, tackle goes around end, signals called, forward pass to fullback, left end catches the pass, fumbles the ball, center blocks out the guard, spin through tackle, quarterback straight arms the end, run for touchdown. And there you are. And now, the event of events. The Indianapolis Speed Classic. We're in the last lap of this grueling race. Car number 65 is in the lead. Followed by car number 17. And here comes a midget car. And now, here comes the winner across the finish line. Let's get a close-up of the victor. Won't you say a few words? $152.50. You will, of course, uh, pay the bill now before you leave, no? Uh, no, no, no. I mean, yes. Um, uh, my partner, Daffy Duck, will be re right back. He's out uh, he, uh, he, uh, cashing a check. Come on, seven. Be good to Daffy. Don't fail me now. Uh-oh. Snake eyes. Too bad. You is a dead duck. Duck. Uh, don't worry. Uh, Daffy will be here in a minute with a uh, 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 money. Well, um, I hope so. Huh? Insulting my integrity! Hey, Fatso! Insinuating I'd flee this flea-bitten dump! Hey, Fatso! Intimating I'd abscond with your financial remuneration! Hey, Fatso! Hey, look! A Dick Tracy character! Prune face! You have insulted me. We meet on the field of honor. My card. You've had your coffee racing for this week, Robespierre. You have insulted me. We meet on the field of onion.
My card, please.
to be in that big pictures. I'm wonderful to see. I ought to be in that big pictures. Oh, what, what a hit. I would be. be. La da 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 da. Pictures. Oh, la da da.
wants to know. Why don't you bounce that ball off his dome? Drop that ball. I've been dreaming and scheming a way to escape. As the warden and guards, they all bore me. Life in prison was never meant for me. Although I hate, I said I hate to leave my cell, mateys. My loving buddies are sorry, are so very, very, very sorry, warden dear. About time are scramming from here. And now I am going to go. Yes, I am going to scram. Oh, yes, I'm going to go, I'm going to scram, I'm going to take it on the lamb. A go! Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Nice voice, nice voice. Great possibilities. Fine boy, fine boy. He's gone. He's gone. He escaped. Why don't somebody do something? Do something. See, that's a good idea. Maybe I can do something. Sure. <laughs> Kid, you hungry? Well, why don't you go in and eat? Oh, you mean you're afraid of that fire water? Eh, don't be silly. 
I just want you me kid, and I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> I just sent you. it is? Now I got an idea. Hey, come here, kid, and I'll tell you how you can do the same thing. Hey, come here. Now, uh, here's what you do. You, uh, you go over there in the water to see the mine of crystal every suit now, besides after you've got your walk, don't get your See you once. Set, kid. Now, uh, you go in there and do your stuff. I'll see you later. Good luck.
scary old fly, you. Yeah, I wonder how that jerk fly made out. Oh, well, it's time for dinner. I think I'll go in and have a little snack. Classics.